I'm Jerry Lachlan, and I support poetry. Hollywood Success by Wendy Rainey. There was nothing to suggest greatness unless you count the vastness of the Arizona desert, which doubled as a movie set. The horse she rode in on was an anguished creature, caught and trapped in a faraway land, and brought back to Burbank to be whipped and broken and led away in chains. If you look into that bee size, you will know what it is to be terrified, not of anything in particular, but of the sheer monotony of the carnival carousel, the sea of eyes, and the horrible, horrible laughter of the popcorn munchers, the screamers, the peeing and sweating mob, the way they feed on the meat of the beast, they want the beast to be funnier. They want the beast to be bloodier. They want the beast to kill or be killed. They want to eat the flesh of the beast and become the beast, but they cannot. These multitudes who demand so much from the beast but give nothing in return. And she, the girl with knees that bend in front of powerful men and a head that bops like a turkey to their members, she who rides the beast with a gloved hand and an orchid between her legs that spread on screen. She with a body they all want to dip their fingers into and taste and eat and rip open with the juices running down their chins. And you who work in offices, you who are teachers, lawyers, mechanics, and dentists, you who are mothers with a baby at your breast, you who hate your lives, you who are children afraid of becoming adults, you who left your wife for someone else's, you who left Nebraska because you were bored, when you go to that dark temple to pray, look up into her eyes and you will see a vacancy there that we have mistaken for greatness, as vast as the Arizona desert.